welcome back to my channel. Today we're talking about my current favorites. Now, I usually do monthly favorites, but honestly, it's a lot of pressure telling you that these are all the products I love the entire month. So I thought it would be fun if I just did some of my current favorites, things I've been using for a month or two, things I just got and I think are amazing. I just rounded up some things that have been like constantly in my makeup shuffle and uh, just wanted to show you guys some quick stuff so if you're interested in my current favorites just keep watching also if you are new to my channel welcome i am so happy to have you guys here i usually put out content every other day so you can usually get something from me a couple of times a week which i love because i love watching the same people over and over again and i love people that give me content all the time because it really keeps things interesting so anyway without further blabbering let's get into my current makeup favorites so basically everything is makeup. I have one skincare item I think, so let me show you that really quick. This is the Laneige Water Bank Moisture Cream for normal to dry skin. And I actually got this through Influencer, but that's not why I'm mentioning it. I just think it's a really good cream. Um, it reminds me a lot of the Belief True Aqua Balm and the Moisture Balm. Both of those are also by a Korean skincare brand called Belief. Um, and so is this is also a new brand Sephora is carrying. So I was really excited to be able to test this out and I honestly love this stuff. It's super hydrating and it definitely reminds me of the Moisture Balm. So if you're looking for something a little different, you wanna switch things up but still have the same benefits as that Belief product, I would totally recommend this. And and I believe it's about the same price as the Belief product. So it's definitely worth a shot. And I've heard really good things about their sleep sleep time like lip mask. I really want to try that out as well. But I have a few lip balms that I'm working my way through. So I'm trying not to buy shit that I don't need. It's really hard to do. But I'm trying. Your girl's trying. Next, let me show you this guy. This is a perfume that I've been loving. Uh, for the summertime, this is by Burberry, and I couldn't even tell you what this is called. It's just called the Burberry Britchier for her, and this is an Odo Eau de Toilette, and this is 3.3 fluid ounces. I got this from Alta a while ago, and honestly, the scent doesn't last very long, but I love the scent. It's very fresh. It kind of just is like this really lightweight scent for the summertime. And of course, I love the blush pink bottle. So I've been working my way through this fragrance because I've had it for way too long. As you can see, it has my Project Pan sticker on it. So I'm trying to get through this, but I honestly think this is a beautiful fragrance. So if you're looking for something lightweight for the summer, this is a really nice option and you can pick it up with your Alta points if you have some saved up. So let's get into the mother load. I see this out in the open, so I'm gonna talk about this first. This is very recent. Um, this is the Anastasia Blush Trio, and I got it in the shade Berry Adore. I really like this so far. They're very pigmented. The only thing I don't like about this is the size of the pans. I use like a really big Real Techniques blush brush, and so it's really hard for me to like get into these pans, which I think is kind of shitty about the packaging, but otherwise it's a really nice compact, you know, it's very classic and clean and there's a little mirror, so it's really nice. And honestly, people don't make makeup like this anymore. I feel like a lot of the mainstream brands, that's always like a palette or something a little more cheaply made. So I think they did a nice job with it, like me and this really nice packaging and stuff like that, especially when you compare it to like the Anastasia Glow Kits. They're not in classy packaging like this. So beautiful packaging other than the pan sizes are really small, which is kind of a downer for a blush product because you don't want like... You know, you want it on a big fluffy brush so that you can really buff it into your skin. So that's the only thing I would say I don't like about that product. Another thing I've been loving and I've just really been like going back to are my Kat Von D nudes and just like all my Kat Von D liquid lipsticks. This is by far my favorite liquid lipstick formula. It's so comfortable and these shades just work so well with my skin tone. So I have Exorcism, Lolita, Plath, and Hawkwind. And then this is another Lolita. I also have Lolita 2 in a small size like this. And those shades are just on constant rotation on my lips. Right now I'm wearing Lolita, but if you're looking for a really good nude, honestly, the Kat Von D ones, you can't go wrong with them and they last forever. Next item I've been loving is by Becca. This is gonna be no surprise to anyone, but it is the 
Mineral Blush in Songbird, and I just picked this up in an Ulta haul, and it reminds me a lot of the shade that Jaclyn Hill has in her face palette, but I just love this because it gives me like the nicest glow. It's just so faint, but combined with like the Becca Rose Gold Blush, it's just like a winning combination on my face. So I love that blush. Becca face products just work so well for me. As much as I hate how they recycle stuff, they're just great. Their face products just rock. And so if you haven't tried Becca yet, I would totally recommend picking that up and trying any of their blushes, highlighters, even their foundations are really good. So yeah, check them out. They're a really good brand. Next, I want to talk about my go-to foundation combination this week. It's been the Lancome Tint Adole 24-Hour Makeup and the Cover FX Custom Cover Drops in the shade G70. I just got this in my Alta haul as well, and mixing this with this has just given it a little bit extra pigmentation and coverage. These together just last on my face all day long, and I really love the combination together. This Lancome foundation on its own wasn't really impressing me. Like, I was expecting so much more from it. But I think combined with the pigmentation of this Cover FX Drops, it's really like clings to my face and I love that about it. I'm actually not wearing this today, but I wear it, wore it in a lot of my recent YouTube videos. So if you're curious, that is my go-to foundation combination. Another foundation I recently tried and I'm wearing it today is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Nude Water Fresh Makeup in SPF 30. And this is like a hydrating version of the Double Wear. Most people that have used Double Wear, I think they think it's too drying. For me, it works really well because I love a matte look all over my face and then a highlighter just on my cheekbones uh, but for a lot of people double wear especially with dry skin they can't wear regular double wear because it's too drying so now they came out with a water version so it should be a lot more hydrating for your skin so if you haven't been able to wear double wear in the past i would totally recommend this i like it it definitely gives me a little bit more of a dewy look so if you've been dying to try it i think now is the time the only thing I don't like about that foundation is they don't have a lot of colors. So for me, for example, I wear Spice Sand. This is the shade 5W1, which is bronze, and I thought it was going to be way too dark for me, but actually it works pretty well with my skin tone and it's not too orange, which I really like about it because a lot of foundations, once you get into the darker shades, they just start turning orange, which I hate. So just wanted to give you guys... A few tips over there and then another thing I've been loving that I picked up recently are my KL polishes this is from the summer collection this is a shade 305 I'm actually wearing this on my toes I've gotten so many compliments on this color on my toes so everyone's always asking me like what shade are you wearing on your toes and so I tell them that it's this lime green color by KL polish but if you guys don't know KL polish is Kathleen Light's nail polish brand and she's got some really beautiful colors for the summer i do have a haul where i hauled some of our shades so if you're interested in that i'll go ahead and link it up above and you guys can check it out okay now i'm going to talk about some random eye stuff these are some new mascaras that have been out on the market lately and i only like one of the three can you guys guess of course the l'oreal lash paradise which everyone has been raving about definite dupe for Too faced better than sex mascara and I've told you guys before, I hate paying high-end mascara prices. So I'm always like drugstore mascara kind of person. I just think it's one of those things that you really don't need to splurge on because all mascara kind of does the same thing. Unless it curls my eyelashes for me, I'll be fine with like a $10 drugstore mascara. So this is really good. These two sucked. Like the wands are so weird. I don't know why people like try to make these weird ass wands. But if you can see this, this is like half a wand. Like, I don't know what their theory was with this. Like, what was that supposed to work for? So this is definitely getting decluttered, and so is this one. This is the new L'Oreal Total Tease Mascara, and it has a fucking weird-ass wand. It's, again, another, like, half wand. So if you were contemplating picking either this one, the Total Tease, or the Lash Sensational Curvitude, I would say skip them because they honestly suck and they're not worth the money. Definitely get the L'Oreal one. Otherwise, just get something else because... I don't have time for weird brushes, like whatever. Now a weird thing that I do have time for that I'm loving that I tried out from the drugstore is the Maybelline Curvitude Liner. 
This is a liquid liner and it's amazing. It's opaque. There's a bend in the wand which is supposed to help you get that perfect flick. So you can actually draw your you know, liner and then turn it over this way to create that flick. I think this is a wonderful eyeliner. I do have a video where I use this um, like a full face of first impressions. So you can link that up above in the cards if you want to check it out. I used a lot of new products in that video so you guys might be interested in that but this liner for drugstore is amazing so if you guys are interested definitely check it out. Another winning find from the drugstore is this Master Precise Skinny Eyeliner from Maybelline as well. I picked this up on the recommendation of Total Makeup Junkie 101 and it's amazing. It's so dark and it stays put and it's so affordable and I like the fact that it's really skinny because it really helps me stay in my waterline and I just like the packaging and I think this is totally worth the price. Since we were talking about some things that didn't work out for me, I'm just going to throw this in here really quick. This is the Tarte Maracuja C Brightening Eye Treatment and this did not work for me. It was working for me but then I realized it was giving me little bumps like right where I was putting it and I heard Nicole from Young Wild and Polished say the same thing about this eye cream. So as affordable as it was, which actually it wasn't that affordable, I want to say this was in the 30 to 40, 30 to $40 range which is typical of an eye cream. Uh, but I can't use this because I swear to God it's giving me bumps and fuck that like I would rather put nothing on than put something on that's gonna irritate or like change my skin that's not okay another thing I didn't like actually not that I don't like it I just don't like the color this is the bronze goddess powder bronzer by Estee Lauder in the shade medium deep okay this is medium deep like this is this is lighter than my skin tone are you kidding me and deep is like really red so like I can't wear deep and I can't wear medium deep so that's a problem let me show you what medium deep means to me okay this is the NARS casino bronzer like look at the difference in color here so this is like the color of my face so it literally is pointless love the packaging love the brand but I can't use this so I'm going to have to return that. That is not a favorite of mine. So if you're of darker skin, just remember that when you're looking at the Estee Lauder bronzers because they do not have a good enough color range. This on the other hand is my go-to. This is the NARS Casino Bronzer. I cannot wear this in the winter because it's too dark for me, but now that it's summertime, you can see I've been making a good headway in this pan. I love it. It's so good. There's not enough good things I can say about NARS. I did hear recently that they are no longer cruelty free which is really sad because they are a fabulous brand but I just wanted to let you know that I do like that bronzer and it is one of my go to's right now. Another thing I've been loving is this Ofra highlighter in the shade Rodeo Drive. Now I just recently picked this up in a haul and I was actually stunned. I need a highlighter like I need a hole in my head and this one just blew me away. It is so soft and this highlighter is honestly blinding. It's crazy. Like if you want people to see you from Mars or like Pluto or Jupiter or wherever the furthest planet is, this is the highlighter for you. If you like a BAM highlight, you need this in your life. I think this highlighter is amazing. It's a little bit scary how pigmented it is, but Ofra, it's my first highlighter from you guys. And I think you nailed it and that's why it's in my current favorites video. So this is honestly, the hype is real with this product. This is the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer in the shade Ginger. And I picked this up a while ago, but look at the dent I've made in this. I have not used any of my other concealers since I got this. This is creamy, it's delicious, it blends and melts into my skin like fucking butter. So if you guys are in doubt about picking this up, I would say doubt yourselves no further. Just buy this concealer and it'll change your freaking life. My very dirty flower beauty sponge. This is actually lilac when it's clean, but I actually used it today when I was doing my makeup. And this thing blows up like a freaking balloon. So it's about almost half, um, one and a half times the size it is now when it's wet, but it's so soft and juicy and it's $8 from the drugstore, so definitely check this out if you have been looking for a new beauty sponge. Last thing I wanna talk about are some of my favorite palettes. This one has been a total standout for the last few months or the last month or so. This is the Juvia's Place, the Magic Palette, and this came out, what was it, like a month ago, and I love it, it's fabulous. I don't use it enough, but the pigmentation is epic wonderful and um, yeah if you're looking for a colorful palette 
where you can still do some daytime regular looks. I think this is great. The price point is great. If you're into creativity or like doing like really avant-garde makeup looks or just like fashion makeup, editorial makeup, oh my god, this palette is so good and I love Juvia's Place in general. Eventually I will do a video reviewing all of their eyeshadow palettes that I own. Now for more everyday looks, I really have been reaching for this palette. As you can see, it's a dirty hot mess. This is the Cute AF palette by ColourPop and it's fabulous. I did do a comparison video between this and the Natasha Denona Sunset palette. So if you're interested in that, I'm gonna link it up above. Check it out, it's a fun video, but this palette is so great. I love this palette, it's only $16. I don't know if they'll restock it, but even if they don't restock this palette, ColourPop's regular like single pan shadows are also really amazing, so you can definitely build something just like that with shadows in their permanent line. Next palette that I have been loving have been these guys. These are the Sephora Pro palettes and they're so good. Honestly, I've been using them every day this week except today. Today I use the Cute AF palette, but these shadows are wonderful. They blend so well. They're very powdery. As you can see, it makes a huge mess in the pans, but on your eyes and on your face, it doesn't make as big of a mess, so I'm really impressed with these. I will have a full review coming up on them very soon, but for right now, I just wanted to include them in my current favorites, so if you guys are on the fence about these, definitely pick them up because I think they're totally worth the hype. You don't need to buy all of them, just buy one. Now, a palette I was not enjoying is this one. This is the Shade & Light Glimmer palette that just came out. I actually did a swatch party video on this. I will link it up above if you're interested, but this is definitely being returned. It is so boring. This palette literally puts me to sleep. I just don't have room for it in my collection. I would rather have an all matte palette that has bomb pigmentation than this palette that's almost $50 that has a nine month shelf life. Ain't nobody got time for that Kat Von D. I feel like I got played with this palette. This one is going back. Don't buy this palette. I'm telling you, just save yourself the energy, the time, the effort, and buy something else, buy anything else. Buy the Viseart Match Palette and you'll be happier than having this. Okay guys, last thing I have been loving recently is my Jaclyn Hill X Morphe Palette. I have a swatch video on it, I will have a review, I will link it up here. So if you're interested in finding out more about this palette, definitely check out my review. But I think this is a great palette as far as Morphe quality goes. I think if you're gonna expect anything more than Morphe quality from this, you're gonna be very disappointed. They basically gave us a Morphe palette and bumped up the price. But if you're a Jaclyn Hill fan, you know you're not gonna care about stuff okay. like that. So that is it for my current favorites. Let me know what your current favorites are for the summertime. I would love to hear if there are any new products that you definitely think I should try. Leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you soon. Bye, guys.